upcoming fight that um, it hasn't been confirmed yet, but I'm here. Canelo Alvarez, Jamal Charlo. What you thinking of? I love Charlo to death, man. I love him to death. But Canelo is a master at picking fights. My guy, he waits until the perfect moment to get a guy. He waits until they like they at their lowest point, like where he can like really take advantage of it. He's gonna win. He'll beat him. Charlo not in the right head space. Uh, that last fight, he looked vulnerable. He looked unlike Charlo usually looks. Here, here comes Canelo swooping right in. That's what he does. He's really good at it. He learned from Mayweather well, and I, I think he'll beat him. It's not. It's, he won't knock him out. He won't. He won't destroy him. But he'll win. Do you think Maul puts up a, a better fight than Mel? Maul will put up a hell of a lot better, better fight. Uh, but, 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 depending on his headspace, he could end up sleeping. Because from what I understand, from the things that, from the little birdies that I know, um. His head ain't right. And that, that's from a source who is very, very close and somebody that I know very well and somebody who he has uh, had a lot of contact with. So from what I understand, his, his headspace is really, really bad. How can he win that fight? How do you beat a Canelo Alvarez? If he was in, in, his, in, the, if he was in his bag, he'd beat him. But right now, forget about it. And there's no way you can beat him. No, not, not right now in his headspace, no. So right now, see, being though you said it about Charlo, Jamal Charlo, what do you think would be a great fight for Canelo right now? Somebody who can beat him? Yes, or even give him a chance to beat him. I, I think uh, I think Benavidez is not him out, but he ain't gonna take that fight. That's, that's not who Canelo is. He's not gonna take that fight right now. Why would he do that? Why would I? Why would I pay top dollar for the opponent to have who I, who I know can beat me when I can pay the same price for or less for a guy who I know I'm gonna beat? So if I had to choose between fighting Dave Benavidez or or, or uh, Charlo, I'm taking Charlo. He's taking the fight. Now that that it's, it's looking like that's probably one or like one of the top three fights in boxing, like as far as like not lucrative happy. wise. It's not happening. It, could you see the situation where it's so much pressure put on Canelo that he has to take that fight? When has he ever had the pressure put on that kind of pressure put on? It's never happened. Triple G. That was that. That was a fight that he, he knew he could win. Uh, but no pressure. It was easy. He, he, I mean, he, the, the Triple G fight was they they were good, but he won. You can see he won the fights. The first fight was the hardest one. And after that, it was easy. Yeah, I'm talking about the first fight though. With, with the first fight, uh, you had people thinking that Canelo was ducking. I didn't, but you had people that you know from the Mexican community that was really putting pressure on him. Like, no, Canelo, you have to fight this guy. He, David Benavides is that next guy in the, yeah, Me but David in the Mexican Benavidez boxing. Once again, I'll use the same analogy. Triple G was a, uh, he, I'll give him, I, he was a Lexus. David Benavidez <laughs> is a motherfucking Ferrari. Um, it ain't gonna happen. Different ball game. This is two different, two different animals. 